All right, I want to show you the FNS 40 by FNH or FN Herstal. Uh, 40 caliber pistol, just picked it up. Uh, this is the case that it comes in. Uh, let me uh, stick you over there and show you what it looks like. Okay, so it comes with this case, which is a nice plastic molded case uh, for the FN. You know, got the symbol here. So, uh, really happy with this. Uh, the gun, I was surprised uh, when I was originally buying it, the guy told me he thought it came with two clips, and we opened up the case, and sure enough, one, two, and three mags, which uh, was a a really nice surprise to see a third mag in here. Um, the mags hold 14, so it is a 14 plus 1 40 caliber. Um, the gun also comes with an extra back strap, uh, more of a flatter one, um, and then more of a curved back strap is what comes on the gun. Um, under here, I just use this actually just to keep my little snap caps, or I may keep, you know, we'll find some other use for it. I think it's for actually storing other back straps. I believe the gun comes with up to three different variations of the back strap. Um, again, nice plastic molded case. Um, the gun, completely ambidextrous. So you can see we have slide release, or slide release, safety, and mag release here. Then when you turn it over, you have the exact same setup mag release, safety, slide release both sides. So for you lefties, this would be a good gun for you because you can shoot it and your right friends can shoot it. However, you will have still the, um, uh, the casings do still eject on the right slash up slash kind of all over the place. Um, the only thing not ambidextrous is the uh, release for the slide. Let me put this on the tripod and show you how that works. Now I was reading around in forums and stuff and some people were talking about how they were having troubles releasing the slide uh, from this. So let me show you. So um, lock it back in place and then you slide this down okay now according to the directions you're supposed to just release it and then pull the trigger and then it'll pull off the trick I found is make sure the back of this you'll see here when you let it slide forward this slides forward ever so slightly here okay just make that line up pull the trigger you'll hear it click and then just give it a good tug um, I thought it was sticking it's not you just give it a good tug and it'll come right off and then from there I mean, to dismantle this gun is extremely simple. Pull this out right here, then out comes the barrel. I mean, obviously you could dismantle the back if you needed to, but to get to the gun to clean it for after use, um, very simple, very easy to do. So that's it back together. Um, and then to put it back, you'll slide it back, lock the slide in, and then slide that back and you're good. The only thing I wish it did additional to that is like the Beretta's where you could pop it back and it'll pull the lock back in place. This one doesn't do that, but that's okay. So uh, let's uh, let's load the gun up and shoot it. Okay, now, uh, and before we shoot it, I wanna go over a little bit about the trigger on this, some of the other safety features. So I've got a snap cap, a little fake bullet here. Um, for those of you that have not seen these, um, I highly recommend picking them up. They're a great way to practice uh, loading the gun, unloading it, using the trigger. Um, and if you're trying to like teach your wife or your kid or someone who's not as familiar with guns, it's a great way for them to use it because they can, you can practice it in house. Um, you don't have to be in a range. Now, and also you can sneak one of these in with regular bullets. So when they're pulling the trigger, you can see if they're pushing or pulling or doing something weird, just sneaking in with the rest of the rounds. So, um, again, snap cap in here. Now the trigger is, uh, it does have a trigger safety. Um, I'm not normally a fan of trigger safeties. Um, I still have mixed feelings about this one. It is better than other trigger safeties I have used. Um, the gun does um, have an actual safety, which I like. Um, I like real safeties. I know some people don't, um, but I like having two forms of a safety, and I don't count a trigger safety and a back strap safety as good enough. I want something that prevents it from firing if the safety is engaged. So. Um, Sorry, I accidentally loaded my snap cap in there. Um, so that is a, so then when you have that tr that safety lock, you cannot pull the trigger, uh, which is good. Now, um, the, the other thing I like about this safety though, is when I pull it up, it is very easy for me to take, when I'm putting my thumbs into position, to just safety check that. I can feel that very easily to know if I if it's if it's on safe or not. And if it's on safe, that's it. I don't have to do any funny moves. I can just reach up and pop it. It doesn't stick out too much where it's awkward, and it's not at a weird angle, so I can hit it right with the knuckle of my thumb. So um, I can, so again, very happy with how that safety is designed. So uh, now the trigger pull, 
Um, you have some play in this trigger. I mean, that right there is all play. Um, so when I have to go to shoot, I have to remember to pull it back and hold it there, then pull it um, for it to go. So uh, anyway, now let's load up some real brass and uh, let's take it for a spin. All right, I've loaded up five rounds in the mag. Uh, gonna go off my mic uh, since I'm shooting. So uh, hopefully the sound doesn't get too messed up. Um, the only other complaint I have about this gun is uh, when the mag is fully loaded, it wants to stick when you push it in. You gotta really push it in when it's 14 rounds are in it. But when you've got five to 10, I think even up to 12, I don't really notice it, it still slides in and out. Cause I like that the mags release very easily from the gun. Now once it's empty, it releases easy. So if you need to do a tack reload, or if you've seen a reload between rounds, it'd be very easy to do. Um, the only other, and then the other beef, last one is, slides quite stiff. So when you're trying to use a slide release, um, you gotta put a, quite a bit of pressure on there. Um, to get it to go, so you I mean, but I usually let it go by pulling it back anyway. So that said, uh, make sure my dog is somewhere he won't get shot. Baxter! Alright, dog's safe over there. So anyway, let's shoot. That's the gun, shoots real well. I have just ripped on the trigger with multiple mags consecutively, 14 in each. Shoots like a charm, no issues there. Um, all in all, very pleased with the gun. And um, for the price, I think it's a fantastic deal and uh, very happy with it. I'd recommend it for anybody else looking for a good 40 caliber.